Hi, welcome back to Aurora Tech Channel. I'm Aurora Lung from Danville, California. Today, we will do some shopping. Many people are comparing the Ender 3, Ender 3 Pro, Ender 3 V2, and CR6 SE. Their price range is between $179 and $399. Some of them look very similar, but some of them have new features. If you aren't familiar with 3D printers, you may be overwhelmed by all their specifications. In this video, I will do a very special comparison of all the features they added to the printer. Most importantly, I will estimate the price of every single feature they add to the printer, compared to buying an entry-level stock Ender 3 and doing all the upgrades by yourself. This will definitely help you find the best value printer. Let's get started. For the stock Ender 3, as of today, March 14th, 2021, the retail price is $179. Let's assume everyone agrees that this is a reasonable price for an entry-level 3D printer. We will start with the Ender 3 Pro and see what's different and how much it should cost. The Ender 3 Pro has three major upgrades. One, it comes with a 40 by 40 aluminum extrusion on the Y axis. Let's say the difference between a 20 by 40 and 40 by 40 extrusion is $10. We will add $10 to the Ender 3 Pro. Two, a magnetic bed. The Ender 3 just comes with a sticker. Let's add $15 for this magnetic bed. Three, a better quality power supply. Meanwhile is a well-known brand. The retail price is about $30. Let's say the difference between Meanwell and no brand's power supply is $20. With all these, we can add $45 to the Ender 3 Pro. So, if we add this value to the stock Ender 3, I would say the actual value of an Ender 3 Pro is $179 plus $45 equals $224 compared to its retail price of $199, you can actually get $25 of extra value. I remember when the Ender 3 Pro first came out. It cost $100 more than the Ender 3. It was not a very good deal. These three upgrades are obviously not worth $100, but now it's only $20 more, so it's a pretty good deal. Next, we will take a look at the Ender 3 V2. This printer comes with all the features that Ender 3 Pro has. This will add the same $45 in value compared to the stock Ender 3. It also came with another six major upgrades compared to the Ender 3 Pro. One, a filament sensor. It costs around a few dollars to $20. Since the V2 just came with a basic one, let's put $10 on this upgrade. 2. A glass bed. There's no big price difference for a magnetic bed and a glass bed, so let's put $5 on this upgrade. 3. A color screen. It's a color TFT screen, but not a touch screen. For the classic 12864 LCD screen, it would cost around $12. For this color TFT screen, we will add $30 for its value. 4. A X and Y axis belt tensioner. The retail price of these two tensioners costs around $20. 5 some silent stepper drivers. A set of TMC2208 stepper drivers cost $19, while the standard A4988 stepper drivers cost $9. We can add another $10 to this upgrade. Six, some cosmetic upgrades. The V2 came with a drawer, some covers, and other detailed improvements. 
I will add another $15 to this upgrade. So, this is the actual value of the Ender 3 V2. The price of the stock Ender 3 is $179, plus $45 as it came with everything that the Ender 3 Pro has, plus these six upgrades which cost $90, the actual value of this printer is $314. The retail price as of today is $262. That means you get $52 of extra value for what you pay. I definitely recommend that you buy the Ender 3 V2 instead of Ender 3 Pro or Ender 3. Finally, the CR6 SE. This printer was very popular back in 2020 when they launched a Kickstarter campaign. It comes with all the features that the Ender 3 V2 has. So we will add the same $135 to the CR6 SE. Besides those $135 upgrades, there are eight major upgrades compared to the Ender 3 V2. One, a colored touchscreen. The V2 came with a color screen, but not a touch screen. This CR6 SE came with a color touch screen. The cost of them are almost the same, but I would be happy to pay just $10 to upgrade a non-touch screen to a touch screen. I will add $10 to the upgrade. Two, some newly designed belt tensioners. This set of X and Y belt tensioners look more rigid than the ones that came with the Ender 3 V2. Since I added $20 to the Ender 3 V2 tensioners, I will add another $10 for this new upgrade. 3. A dual Z axis with a synchronized belt. This is a huge upgrade. I have made a video that shows how to upgrade a dual Z axis. My DIY costed $27. Since the CR6 SE also includes the synchronized belt and wheels, I will generously give this upgrade a $50 value, as you can buy a kit without a synchronized belt, but it will still cost $50. 4. Another huge upgrade, auto bed leveling. It uses a strain gauge to sense the pressure when the nozzle touches the bed, without using a BL touch. The cost of a strain gauge and some metal parts to make this leveling system should be much cheaper compared to a BL Touch. A genuine BL Touch costs $40. A similar knockoff product costs $13. An inductive sensor costs less than $10. I will add $20 to this strain gauge bed leveling system. 5. A new extruder. I will assume that this newly designed extruder is a better one. I will put $15 for this extruder. 6. A new hot end. Let's also assume this new hot end is better. In fact, they really look nicer compared to the old one. I will add another $15 for this hot end. 7. A slightly larger build volume. The standard Ender 3. Pro and V2 all have a 235 by 235 build plate. The actual build volume is 220 by 220. The CR6 SE has a 245 by 255 glass bed and a 235 by 235 build volume, which is 14% larger. Considering the basic Ender 3 costs $179, 14% of its volume is worth around $25. I will add $25 for this slightly larger build volume. Finally, more cosmetic upgrades. It also comes with drawers, covers, a new filament holder, and a handle. I will add another $10 compared to the V2 cosmetic upgrades. The total value from all these upgrades is $155. Adding those $135 upgrades that came with Ender 3 Pro and Ender 3 V2, 
it would be a $290 extra value compared to the stock Ender 3. So, I would say the value of the printer is about $469. Since the retail price is $399, you actually get $70 more than you pay. So, if you are going to buy a new 3D printer now, the Ender 3 V2 and the CR6 SE should be the better choices, as they have higher extra values compared to Ender 3 and Ender 3 Pro. As you can see, I bought the CR6 SE instead of the Ender 3 V2. If this printer cost $399, I probably would not buy it. Personally, if I plan to spend $400 on a 3D printer, I think I should have many more choices and expect an even larger print volume or a Core XY printer. But Creality is doing a promotion at their official store, creality3dofficial.com. I also found the same promo code from other websites, like this German website mydeals.de. Most CR series printers are $60 less. This applies to CR10 V2, V3, CR10S Pro V2, but not the original CR10. I actually bought this 10 days ago for $339, which is an amazing deal. This makes the extra value of this printer $130. I really don't have a reason to not buy this printer. I'm not sure if this promotion will still be available when you watch this video, but you can ask Creality about that. I will make another assembly, test print, and review video for this printer, but most importantly, do some tests on the string gauge bed leveling system, and see how it works compared to the BL Touch. I will tell you what I like and what I don't like about this printer. Please subscribe to Aurora Tech channel and hit that notification bell. I will post a new video every week. Normally, my brother and I make a new video every weekend. So check my channel on Mondays and you will see something new. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. In this video... <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I swore I had it. All the features they added to the printer. This will definitely. Aurora, you're only giving them $20 for an auto bed leveling system. You're so mean. It's just a string gauge.